All right, so welcome to my second example on how to divide numbers. In this example, I'm going to show you what to do when your remainder is not zero. So in this example, at the end of the problem, our remainder is not going to be zero, and I'm going to show you how to finish the problem when that happens. So here we have 1,033 divided by 4. Let's just get started right away. How many times does 4 go into our first number 1? All right, it goes in 0 times because 4 is actually bigger than 1. So let's look at our first two numbers then. How many times does 4 go into 10 without being too big? Uh, 4 goes into 10 two times. 4 times 2 is 8. Let me just erase this line here before we continue with this problem. So once again, 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8. And after you multiply those two numbers, you want to subtract 10 minus 8. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to bring down our next number. So we're going to bring down this number 3. All right, so how many times does this number 4 go into this number 23? 4 goes into 23 five times. 4 multiplied by 5 gives us 20. If we subtract 23 minus 20, we get the number 3. And once again, we need to repeat all these steps over again. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring down this next number 3. So how many times does this number 4 go into this number 33? 4 goes into 33 8 times. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. If we subtract these two numbers, 33 minus 32 is equal to 1. So now I want you to notice after we brought down our last number, our remainder is not 0. Now we have a remainder of 1, so we are not finished with this problem. So what do we have to do to finish this problem? Well, the answer to that question is I'm going to do the same exact thing that I've been doing for the first part of this problem. I'm going to add some numbers after 1033. I'm going to make it 1033.000. Okay, so what I've just done has not changed the problem at all. 1033 is exactly the same as 1033.000. The only thing I did was add some trailing zeros. And you don't always have to add three. Sometimes you have to add one. Sometimes you have to add more than three. Um, so I just like to add three because usually you don't need any more than this. Um, it doesn't really matter. Okay, um, so this next point, uh, uh, this next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this decimal point and bring it straight up. So I'm going to add a decimal point right after this 8. All right, and we just need to continue this problem. All right, so now I'm just going to bring down our next number. So I'm going to bring down this number 0. All right, so how many times does 4 go into this number 10? All right, 4 goes into 10 two times. All right, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And now I'm going to scroll down to give myself a little bit more space. All right, now we need to subtract 10 minus 8. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Uh, notice how our remainder is still not 0, so we need to bring down our next number. So now I'm going to bring down my number 0. So now how many times does the number 4 go into the number 20? 4 goes into 20 five times. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. And I'm running out of space here, but if we subtract these two numbers, now we have a remainder of 0. And I'll write it over here. 20 minus 20 is equal to 0. Now that we have a remainder of 0, we are finished with this problem. So our answer is 258.25. 1033 divided by 4 is equal to 258.25. This is our final answer. 
So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video.